So here we go, look, you hit it. Here we go, look at this. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, look. Man, we out here, man. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this guy, look at this guy. You guys seen that? That guy a break almost we almost snapped into each other. Why didn't we leave? But oh well man, we're Floridians man, we do this. It's like 5 a.m. right now and we're starting to get rain finally. Not that heavy, but it's gonna be raining for like the next day and a half. But while that's going on, man, we're gonna make some coffee with it. So just so you guys can see, look. It is 5.43 in the morning. All right, guys, quick little update. So it is 7.27. Um, the, we're gonna, like right now with all this rain and all the little wind, that's like nothing compared to what's actually coming. And they say by like between two and five, that's when the action should start. But obviously, you know, we are getting wind gusts and you know, a little bit of rain. Um, that's fine. Look, it's dead out here. So my youngest daughter, Millie, the one that you guys see in the videos, she actually lives in Sarasota. Okay, between uh, last yesterday's video and today, um, the hurricane actually curved a little bit and you know like Sarasota is like Northport Port Charlotte area you can call it and the hurricane actually made a little curve to where you know it was going to enter like Port Charlotte area but now it's going to enter Sarasota so they were going to get impact with like the hurricane four or five and they're actually closing the bridge um, that goes from Palmetto to Bradenton at 11 you know a.m. So I have a small window right now, which is at seven o'clock to go pick up my daughter to make sure she at least with me. Look, this is what it actually looks like right now. Like this is just like normal settings on the camera. Look, and it looks really nasty outside. Look, like this is just normal. This is what the camera with any enhancements looks right now. It is like a nasty, and the sea level is gonna go up. So, and you know, we live by like, at least like, a, this is the bridge that I'm talking about. It's gonna be closed at 11, you know, a.m. The bridge that we're on right now that that helps us jump into uh, um, the you know surrounding cities and man we are on the way man I gotta go get my little girl I gotta get her you know what I'm saying look those, those branches are... oh yeah man it's crazy hopefully by the time we make it back um, it'll be a little bit more sunlight and I'll be able to get you guys a little better uh, stuff what's going on Yeah, so I think getting gas is pretty much out the question because everything looks like it's like saran wrapped up. The gas pumps, uh, like the hoses all seem to be like attached to the pump so they don't go flying everywhere. Oh yeah, man, people are still trying to get gas, man. That's crazy. I mean, we'll, we'll make it back. We'll be all right. I just made it to Sarasota and man it's there's like debris and stuff out a little bit look and as you can see look I don't know if you guys can see but man it is already uh overflowing like the channels like the ditches like man they're getting full quick so obviously this is gonna get um, flooded I give it by the end of the by like five o'clock this will be flooded you know the ditches are already filling up fast um, and it is uh, tense and fine down here if that's the word uh, but I'm probably like 10 minutes away to go get my little girl. All the gas stations are completely closed. Uh, look, there's already a branch. Stuff already falling off. Let me see if I can roll the window down so you guys can see the dishes. That ditch is not that bad. But the ditches back there that we just passed, man, things are already uh, getting quick. 
this is what it actually looks like right now guys like I just had everything brightness turned up but look this is what the actual image of it looks like right now it's nothing but rain it is coming see and it's mildly raining right now it's this is not even like the key point rain actually starts around we'll say four o'clock just to be safe from four till Thursday or coming uh, Friday morning that's when it's like the heavy hitting rain but right now man this is nothing this is normal for us. so I'm actually at least like five minutes away let me pick up my daughter and then we'll get back man it's it's good and there's already like debris on the ground, like branches and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure here soon, uh, parts of trees and you know, stuff that people left outside, man, that's gonna be all over the road. Let's see, hopefully, hopefully these things are open because they, they pretty much just like shut them down, but we'll see right now. actually got the pumps shut off like all these pumps are all shut off uh, let me see look at the winds man it's getting foggy you guys see it it's not that bad right now look that thing's already falling over it's intense and fine okay so I tried to get gas and that was a no-go so let's actually get back in the truck and we we're probably like a minute away from getting my one girl. Alright, so we are actually getting ready, approaching to get this little girl and so we can secure the package and get back home safe. Just secure, say hi. Hi. We had to come get this little girl. Okay. Huh. It's the Burger King today. Heck yeah. The guy calls it the Burger King. What the? Yeah, he calls it the Burger King. What? Let's see. All right, so actually, like, man, the wind just like literally picked up, and I can feel like the the truck rocking. And I see signs of police up ahead. I wonder what's going on over there. Maybe a branch fell or something. But we're gonna see it right now when we approach it. Uh, but I think pretty soon here in the Sarasota area, they're just going to be riding around telling people just like if they can to be back to it. So, police officer there. Literally a guy walking, and that's crazy. Man, we just felt a strong wind gust. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Look at this guy, look at this guy. You guys seen that? That guy a break almost we almost snapped into each other. That's the last thing we needed, man. That was would have been the last thing we needed. These people just like literally just slammed into each other, man. That's crazy. That's gotta be the worst. Literally just slid into each other. The storm hasn't even begun yet and there's already like people on Snapchat and on Instagram posting that they already lost power in our surrounding areas and we've yet to even experience anything um, hurricane related wise. And listen, I don't think people are mentally prepared to take showers in cold water. You see what I'm saying? Like those are the artifacts that people don't realize. Like the water heater obviously needs to get powered up and if there's no power, nothing's gonna, you know, heat up nothing. So. Uh, you know, are, is people prepared to take a shower with cold water, you know? We actually had an incident the other day where the heater didn't get no power and we had to take a shower in, in cold water, man, you know? So, like, that's the stuff that happens behind the scenes. See what I'm saying? So, man, it's about to get real. Now that the sunlight is out, man, let's see what it looks like over the bridge. Here, space. Those palm trees right there are probably gonna eat it, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. 
all those big lengthy tree panels things are falling. They're definitely falling. So this bridge right here that comes from Bradenton into Palmetto, like this thing's gonna be shut down at 11 o'clock. There's like two more hours and wherever you're at, that's it. So yeah, man, people, they needed to stay where they're at, you know. Waters. This is gonna get over full, guys. Look, those waves are picking up too. Over here. Man. What a sight, you know what I'm saying? What a sight. Oh yeah, it's just stuff. Look, there's people actually out on boats. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, you can barely see them, but they're out on boats. So it's open right here. Oh yeah, man. All right, so basically, you know, we're already back home. Uh, after I make this little up on this bridge, you go down and there's a loop around. Um, that's where I stay at. But um, we're actually gonna drive a little bit further up and see if the other hood gas station's open. So we just get a little bit of gas, a little bit of gas, not much. Goodbye, still happy. Yeah. You see, over here in Palmetto, like, it's all, it's raining, but it's not like it was, you know, man, right there, like, leaving Sarasota, man, that, that was, like, crazy. It, it's picking up. It's definitely picking up. Never mind, guys. The pumps are shut down. All oh, the pumps are shut down. I got the bags over them. I think they probably got the gas pumps done down, just so there's no explosion or nothing like that. But man, the store's open. But we just can't get no fuel. All right, so I think we're just gonna head home and just get stationed up, man. And it is what it is, man. We'll just wait for the storm. All right, so let me give you a point of view of what it looks like in the backyard, guys. Um, the rain is picking up a little bit more as I just got here. Uh, look, it's already getting, uh, you know, it's gonna flood back here. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Look at that. You see it? The winds are slowly picking up, man. Slowly picking up. But, you know, we made it home safe, man. We got everybody. We're just missing uh, my wife's son, Junior, and he's actually in Fort Myers. Uh, man, I would have... I actually would have liked for him to be here with us. Um, man, but... I tried to tell him, but we'll see what happens. You know, hopefully we'll pay for the best, so... I'll keep you guys updated, man, but this is what's going on so far. Um, I'll pick up the camera, like, around, like, noon and show you how's it going. Moving the trailblazer because this tree is so huge and man, I don't want my trailblazer to eat it. Let me see, this thing's gotta start. Alright, we gotta move my trailblazer, man. I'm so Verado, man, we got full insurance on this thing. This thing right my trailblazer right now doesn't have no type of insurance on it, and the last thing I want is for it to get a tree to collapse on it. So just gonna play it safe. I can park it right in front of over here. Oh yeah, that's strong wind right there, guys. Look at these things. Oh yeah, look at this. Whoa! Oh yeah, look at this. It's coming. Holy shit! I had to move my trailblazer because it's right there. That tree could fall and smash something. My Silverado, like I said, it's all right. You know, we got insurance on that thing, but oh, I gotta get the gun out of here. The wind's definitely picking up. Oh yeah. Why didn't we leave? But oh well, man, we're Floridians, man. We do this. So I calmed down a little bit, but, but these winds come and go.
Alright, here we go, Lou. You hit it? Here we go, Lou. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, Lou. Man, we out here, man. Oh yeah, here we go. All right guys, so let me show you what we got going on. So sandbags are up against the sliding door, right here. Uh, there is water that's already steadily rising, look, you see? This puddle, and we have this puddle. We have sandbags right here, so it doesn't go inside. Look, this is where we work at right there. You know, the um, grass is already getting muddy. Look, I'm going to show you the front yard real quick. Like, there's heavy wind gusts as it goes. Check this out. All right. Hopefully we get a nice wind gust so you guys can see how crazy it is. But look, I'm going to show you the pond. The field, but this is going to get flooded. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go, look. You'll see these wind gusts, look. Here we go. I feel it. It's coming. I'm going to show you the pond across the street. It's forming into a pond. Look, this is right here. I give it by later on tonight. This thing will be flooded. Look at this shit. Oh, yeah. That little Volkswagen Jeep, it's in there. So here we go. Oh, I hear it. Look. Oh, yeah. Good shot right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Now I'm really worried about those. Those trees are more definitely gonna collapse. It, if it lands on the Silverado, we're straight. The Colorado, my dad's Colorado, it's all right, but man, not the trouble look at. Okay, so it's actually like 11 o'clock right now. Look, that branch is already broke. You see? We'll give us some wind gusts. Last time, the other hurricane that was coming knocked that sign down. So. All right, I think this is where we're gonna pretty much end the video for today and I'm gonna go inside and get everything ready and I'll pick up the camera as the storm comes in the storm should be pulling up like around like 2 o'clock it's 11 so we still got other stuff we got to do but I'm gonna be recording from here to there but just showing you man like it's it's intensifying from what it was Monday working outside to what it is now and man we're staying safe um, I hope you guys are safe and I will catch you on the next one you know I'm just keeping the gang updated and make sure, you know, so you guys know that, you know, we're good on this side, man. I hope you guys are good as well, man. So, with that being said, man, stay tuned. Let's watch the news. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.